As the golden era of iconic giants like the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 fades into history, many believe the age of the jumbo jet has officially come to an end. But surprisingly, from the East, where few would have expected, a new generation of jumbo jets is quietly taking shape. Following the success of the C919, China is now revealing an even greater ambition. A brand new jumbo jet is expected not only to revive the dream of long-haul travel, but also to directly challenge the West's long-standing dominance. What is this aircraft? How could it dominate the aviation industry in the future? And what challenges must China overcome to realize this vision? Let's find out. To dominate the skies, a nation needs more than ambition. It must reach the pinnacle of science and technology. From engine manufacturing and composite material development to precision mechanical design and complex aviation electronics, the world has, for decades, flown mainly on the wings of two giants, Boeing and Airbus. Russia has the IL series, but its reach remains largely confined to domestic and neighboring markets. As for China, it was once left behind, almost entirely dependent on the West. But that's changing faster than ever. The turning point came at the beginning of the 21st century, when China quietly laid the foundation for an independent civil aviation industry. The first achievement was the ARJ-21, a 40-ton regional aircraft with a range of 3,700 kilometers, capable of carrying 78 to 90 passengers. By 2015, the ARJ-21 entered mass production, and by 2022, more than 100 units had rolled off the assembly line. Although it still relied on the CF-34-10A engine from General Electric, the ARJ-21 marked a critical milestone, a learning platform for the country. But China didn't stop at short-haul flights. Its ambitions extend far beyond. In 2022, the C919, China's greatest hope in aviation, officially entered commercial service. Weighing 77 tons, with a capacity of 158 to 192 passengers and a range of up to 5,500 kilometers, the C919 was designed as a direct competitor to the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. By 2024, orders had exceeded 1,300 units, a remarkable figure pushing deliveries beyond 2035. The C919 is not only conquering domestic skies, it's paving the way for China's global aspirations. After this breakthrough in commercial aviation, China didn't slow down. On the contrary, it accelerated with an even more ambitious project, the C929, Beijing's first widebody aircraft designed for intercontinental routes. If the C919 was China's debut, then the C929 is a bold strike at the long-standing duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. But wait, thanks for still watching. Don't forget to share the video and hit that subscribe button. Officially unveiled in 2023, the C929 represents a major leap in technical complexity beyond the C919. With a capacity of around 280 passengers, a maximum takeoff weight of 247 tons, and a range of up to 12,000 kilometers, the C929 is designed not only for long-haul flights from Beijing to London, Paris, or New York, but also to compete with widebody giants like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. The first prototype is expected to fly in 2025, and if all goes well, commercial service could begin by 2029. However, China knows that a single widebody aircraft isn't enough to change the game. The C929 may be the first step toward real competition, but to truly reshape the global aviation landscape, something bigger, both literally and figuratively, is needed. That's why the C939 was born. In early 2024, Information about the giant C-939 project began to leak, sparking surprise and curiosity among industry observers. By May 20, 2024, COMAC, China's domestic aircraft manufacturer, officially confirmed through internal documents that it had initiated the design and development phase of this new long-range, wide-body, intercontinental aircraft. Wei Ingbao, former deputy general manager of COMAC and now CEO of another state-owned enterprise, confirmed the aircraft's existence during a speech at an industry forum in Harbin in December, stating that Comac was actively designing it. It remains unclear whether this aircraft will feature a stretched single-deck design or a distinctive upper hump like the iconic Boeing 747. The C-939 is expected to be the largest aircraft ever built by China, with a range of over 13,000 kilometers and the capacity to carry more than 400 passengers. Early technical data suggests it will be one of the longest aircraft in the world, with a fuselage length exceeding 76 meters, 
comparable to the Airbus A340-600 and even longer than the Boeing 777-300ER. This would not only allow over 400 seats, but also significantly expand cargo capacity, supporting both long-haul passenger travel and large-scale logistics needs. In terms of payload, the C939 is projected to have a maximum takeoff weight of 280 to 320 tons, around 30% more than the C929. This performance rivals that of the largest twin-engine aircraft in operation, marking a significant leap for China in the global aerospace race. According to several sources, the widebody aircraft's passenger cabin could exceed 70 meters in length, allowing for a wide range of flexible seating configurations, from traditional three-class layouts to innovative cabin concepts tailored for ultra-long-haul flights. Internal documents from COMAC suggest a target timeline to complete and commercialize the C-939 by 2039, a distant, yet strategically significant milestone. This also indicates the project has moved beyond the conceptual phase and is now entering preliminary design, with key technical specifications gradually solidifying. Early reports have hinted at the type of engine expected to power the aircraft, further emphasizing how seriously China is approaching this endeavor. That's right, if one element is drawing particular attention to China's aerospace ambitions, it's the engines. When Comac revealed the C-939, it surprised many by announcing the aircraft would be powered by just two domestically produced engines, rather than four as many had expected. How can they do it with only two? After all, even Boeing and Airbus haven't yet found a solution for a jumbo jet using only two engines. Here's why. It's important to understand that the C-939 is a long-range, wide-body aircraft designed for intercontinental routes. In the past, when jet engine technology was still in its infancy, aircraft manufacturers were forced to equip planes with four engines to generate sufficient thrust. That's how icons like the Boeing 747, Airbus A340, and later the A380 came into being. Products of an era when safety and long-distance capability could only be achieved with more engines. Second, the world has changed. Today's jet engine technology can produce immense thrust from a single engine. Modern power plants like the GE9X and Trent XWB97 can generate 44 to 45 tons of thrust each, enough to do the job that used to require two engines. Thanks to this, the twin engine configuration is now not only safe, but also superior in terms of economic efficiency and environmental performance. Third, the twin engine design brings clear advantages. Lower fuel consumption, significantly reduced emissions, and greatly reduced maintenance and manufacturing costs. According to statistics, cutting down from four to two engines can save more than 25% in fuel usage. This is a strategic advantage at a time when airlines face fierce competition and growing pressure to reduce carbon emissions. Notably, modern jet engines are now so reliable that an aircraft can fly up to 3,000 kilometers with just one functioning engine, enough to complete many routes or reach an emergency landing airport. This would have been impossible in the era dominated by four-engine aircraft. As a result, the global trend has shifted firmly toward twin-engine configurations. Modern widebodies like the Boeing 787, Airbus A350, and 77X all follow this path. Comermac's decision for the C-939 isn't just a technical choice. It's a declaration that China is ready to enter the global arena with a forward-looking approach. So, which engine could be powerful enough to propel this giant aircraft? The heart of this decision lies in the CJ-3000, a domestically developed engine currently in progress, targeting a thrust of around 45 tons on par with the world's most powerful engines. For comparison, each engine on the A351000 delivers 44 tons of thrust, while the Trip 7 x uses the G9X, which produces 45.4 tons. However, as of now, China does not yet have any engine at that thrust level ready for mass production. The most powerful Chinese engine so far, the CJ1000A for the C919, only reaches about 13.5 tons. The CJ2000 with 35 tons of thrust has completed its first test and is expected to power the C929. As for the C939, the engine answer remains open, but without a doubt, the CJ3000 is the long-term goal, and if this engine succeeds, it would mark a historic turning point for China's aviation industry. The road ahead is still long, but current signs suggest that this country is on the right track. Not just with the C939, but with the step-by-step -step development of its domestic supply chain, independent engine technology, and growing presence in the global civil aviation market. And if they truly conquer the most difficult challenge, 
large jet engine development, then what follows may far exceed all expectations. China's achievements in aviation are not only a testament to its technological and industrial capabilities, but also a symbol of its powerful and long-term strategic vision. As this country gradually builds an independent aviation industry, it is not just reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. It is also enhancing its resilience in a volatile global economy. This move affirms not only industrial strength, but also the nation's ambition and determination to reshape the game in one of the world's most advanced technological sectors. From the C919 to the C939, China's journey reflects a story of overcoming challenges and pushing boundaries. Each step forward brings a new wave of innovation, fueling a desire not just to catch up, but to redefine the global aviation landscape. This nation's impact lies not only in individual aircraft models, but also in the restructuring of the global aerospace supply chain. Alongside increased investment in research and development, the country is opening new avenues for international cooperation while simultaneously challenging long-standing industry standards. Notably, ARJ-21, C919, and C929 are not only major milestones, but vivid proof that China is capable not just of keeping up, but of setting new standards. Through long-term innovative investment strategies, Beijing is making its mark, shaping a global aviation market that is beginning to shift. The C929 and C939 aircraft of the future are not merely technological achievements. They signal a profound power shift in the industry as Beijing boldly challenges the dominance of Western aerospace giants. With every move, their aviation story becomes more than just one of innovation. It's a story of relentless ambition, of a nation reaching beyond limits, and of a journey the world can no longer ignore. And though this journey has already come far in many ways, it's only just begun. How long do you think it will be before we see the C929 or even the C939 gracing our skies? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and may your flights always be safe and exciting.